and straight into the press box. Yeah, we know this rodeo now. We did it uh, for Melbourne Victory and now back in for the Crystal Palace game. The last leg of the Melbourne Tour. Two games here, obviously Victory the other day, which I covered in depth. And obviously now we're on Crystal Palace. A bit more familiar uh, opponents, understrength, Crystal Palace. We'll see how the game goes today. But yeah, same as last time, we'll see what access we can get, see how get as much coverage as I possibly can. Give you some sort of closer look of inside the actual box where we are and what we're working, where we're working from on this one. Same as last time, but I didn't give you as much uh, coverage inside. So I'm gonna do a little bit more of that to show you where we're actually working from and the, the facilities that we've got here. I mean, if you see in the background there, the MCG's covered with Ashes memorabilia all over the place. We spin it around. This is like just like a media center hall, all the way down uh, through that door, just down there in the corner. That one. Yep, that's where all the food is. Uh, people like uh, the media in there. Uh, uh, Rob Dawson from ESPN is in. ESPN is in there right now. He's here early today, and now all the other media will start rolling in from this point forward now. So yeah, I'm gonna give you a little bit more of an inside look on this one today as much as I can, where I can, and yeah, bringing you the best coverage from inside the game, and then we'll talk about the game as well and the team, because like I said, it's going to be interesting to see if he sticks with exactly the same as what he did in the last couple of games in terms of starting lineups. Intriguing. Anyway, let's move on to get towards kickoff time, and I'll bring you what happens just before that as well. Okay, so let's go inside, so as you can see, all this that I showed you before is like a waiting area. Everyone is through there with the journals, but because we're actually video and not just straight out journals, I think they've been kind enough to us to actually give us like a little private booth. They're like radio booths, but if you just come in, it all goes quiet. So you're on little private TVs in the back. Obviously, I'm just gonna spin this around for you. You can see great view of the game and that screen revolves Back. So the glass slides in and out. If you want to get a little bit of air in, which is not advisable at the moment because it's fucking freezing outside, then you can open it up a bit, get the atmosphere, take it in. But you've got the comfort of closing that glass as well, and it's perfect for doing like interviews, which we're hopefully going to be doing in a minute on the United Stand. So yeah, uh, that's the bonus of being in press access and having one of these. If you get here early enough. Getting one of these little private boxes where you can do anything you want within reason. Okay, half time in the box. Uh, one change at half time. First time we've seen that all tour. Is this the sign that match fitness, match sharpness, and having a good idea exactly who he wants in his team is coming to the fore now of Eric Ten Hag because only Donny comes on in midfield. I think it is for Scott McTominay. Yes, looking at the team from here, Scott McTominay is coming off. Donny's on with Fred. Very interesting. It's not wholesale changes this time. It's a tight game. I know he's got this winning mentality, he wants to win, win, win. But this has to be a mindset of surely when you look at it, right, let's win the games. Let's keep the winning mentality going and this is my team going forward. He wants that link up, I think, of that front three to work and work to a T. There has to be a plan ready for if Ronaldo isn't at this football club. And the more practice this front three get together, the better we're going to be on opening day and going into the season. No change in the keeper either. I think it's going to be interesting to see if we get changes halfway through the second half though. Let's see. Anyway, see my view? There you go. VIP. 60 minutes from all the first team players today. That's different. He seems to be just upping it and upping it. Last year got a little bit longer at left back because we only had one replacement. But 60 minutes of Rashford, Sancho, Martial up front with Bruno behind them. Combinations are superb. Knackered. There. <laughs> See that donut there? It's Brian's. No problem. I'm gonna nick it. <laughs> <laughs> it is what? It's five past effing one in the morning. Last people here again. You can see outside there, they've already cleared the markings off pretty much for the football pitch. That's how long we've been here. And they're already getting the uh, Aussie Hills football markings out. But yeah, 
Uh, another game, another win, a lot of reporting. I mean, Christ, tonight I've done that many videos today. I've interviewed that many people and done interviews. I've literally got nothing left. We're on a plane tomorrow, uh, heading to Perth. For the last, shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy standing in front of a camera and doing what I do and putting a smile on for everyone. It's fucking hard work, I'm not gonna lie. I don't swear much on my videos, you know I don't. But it is hard. So yeah, I'm wrapping this one up. 3-1, good win. If you wanna know exactly what I felt about the game, it's on the United stand. But all I'm gonna say is front three, Sancho, Martial, Rashford, in sync, looking good. Midfield, needs a new player. Defence, McQuire's got a lot to do. But I've been told, and if you watch the United Stands, the interviews that we've done today, especially the James Ducker one, it's going to be Harry Maguire and Lissandro Martinez as United's centre-back pairing next season. That is looking how it's going down from what we're being told behind the scenes. So check out the videos on uh, YouTube on the United Stand. I spoke to Charlie Savage tonight. I think he was the only one who got an interview with anyone tonight because Ten Hag has locked it down. It's getting stricter and stricter. For us fans, that's good because... We just want to see results on the pitch. Yeah, it may not be nice for our certain members of the media. They want content, they want it to cross. If I didn't have any content with players, I wouldn't give a toss. As long as it meant United were better on the pitch. That's what it's all about. That's what we want. And honestly, I think Ten Hag's going to bring it. The way he's doing it and the way he's got these players drilled, completely different ball game. I'm looking forward to seeing what comes, but I'm still with the cautious optimism. Three wins from three, though. 11 goals scored, two conceded. Can you complain? No, not right now you can. On to Villa at weekend. We're getting back now. Finished packing, one o'clock. We're up in four hours because we've got a plane to Perth. It is going to be mental. So I need to get some sleep. I'm bowing out from the MCG. It has been a blast. I've been a ball here. The staff and everyone here have been immense. It is one of the best stadiums I've ever been in and worked in. I've not worked in many, but I'm saying this one's going to take some beating. But yeah, here we go. This is it, on to the last leg of the Australia and Thailand tour. And then we're back before we go back out again to Norway. But this is it, the last bit, here we come, Perth. Next flight, flight number five. And that is happening probably after this video. Yeah, am I going to do a travel vlog? Uh, I don't know. I'll, you'll see, see what kind of mood I'm in because I'm sick of talking at the moment. So I'm going to shut up. I said that two minutes ago and I still carried on talking. I can't keep up. I can't stay quiet. Ryan's like waiting the there now. Like, yeah, I like the sound of my own voice. What can I say? Anyway, I'm done. Guys, cheers for watching. Obviously, subscribe to my channel. Get over to the United Stand to see all my other content on there and what we've been up to and what we've been doing. Loads. Trust me, there's loads going on. MCG, see you later. It's been a ball. Moving on to Perth. I can't even remember the name of the stadium now, but we're at the Wacker for the open training session and press conference. And I will speak to Ten Hag, that's a definite, so stay tuned for that. See you everyone, in a bit.